2010 Honda Civic going to perform a recovery on here so I put the side glass on because I haven't done this in a while and we're going to see if we could pull out a little bit of refrigerant oil while performing a recovery now the important thing is you don't recover on the high side so I'm turning off the high side so I'm not even in there so that's closed off so that's uh even though I have this turned in okay so now I'm attached but it's off right here the low side is open. We're only pulling refrigerant from the low side because we don't want to uh, remove oil. Now, if this fitting right here was located way down at the bottom by the compressor, you have a possibility of pulling out oil. Usually you don't, and we're gonna prove that right here, right now. So let's, we have the low side open. We have the low side that's going through here. Here's our refrigerant flow. It'll go through here. It'll come down this red hose it'll go around into the machine for the recovery and then it'll go through and it'll come out as a liquid right here and go into the recovery tank so let's start this up let's open the tank there we go we are now see the pressure going down right now it'd be nice if i had a uh, knobs on them. I have the knobs, I just don't put them on. I've had most of these tanks for 10, 20, 30 years. And we got a little bit of oil in there. Come on. See right there? Just a little bit. And the only reason we have that little bit is I intentionally made sure I pulled out the refrigerant real fast with everything all the way open instead of throwing it. Usually I throttle it back, but for demonstration here, I wanted to uh, to show you how I can get oil out of there. Just a little bit. I mean, look at that. That's not even five milli. That's like two, maybe three milliliters or cc's. And as you see, I'm almost empty. This is a really good... Uh, recovery unit and you can see on the low side so this system was already I could open up the high side now because the pressure is so low so this unit came in it was already somewhat low on refrigerant even though it showed like it had 57 or 60 psi in it that was mostly all vapor okay that's about it it's uh Pulling down, we're at negative 17. I'll do this for a while, then I'll shut it off and uh, let it stabilize and see what its uh, bleed down is. And I'll look around for leaks. I'm gonna go over this guy and look for uh, any obvious signs of leaks, but I didn't see any. And as you can see, the pressure slowly going back up because there's a little refrigerant trapped underneath the oil inside the compressor, in the evaporator, in the bottom of the receiver, and that liquid refrigerant is bubbling and boiling off out of there, causing the pressure to rise, and that tells you you still have refrigerant in the system. So you just keep recovering here uh, in the US to the EPA for automotive. The minimum is negative 15. It has to hold below negative 15. So I'll turn it back on. And you keep repeating this until it could at least hold to a negative 18. I usually go down to the microns though. I like to get every last ounce out or drop out because I don't believe in uh, venting refrigerant to the atmosphere. Yeah. And that's about it. There we go, we're going into the microns now. Okay, we're done on that one. And as you can see, the oil there is no longer bubbling because it's under such a low vacuum, it has a little heat to it, and it boiled the refrigerant out of the oil. And if we remember when we first looked at the refrigerant oil, it was bubbling because that was trapped refrigerant inside the oil like CO2 in your Coca-Cola. And you can see how slow it, the refrigerant is bubbling and boiling out of the trapped refrigerant the trapped refrigerant inside the oil. That's why 
the number is falling back down. And I'll do it a few more times. All right, see you guys. But there you go. You can see that little bit of oil inside there.